where now? Chateau Villette. The Chateau Villette? The very one. It's where Sir Lee TV lives. These are friends, Remy. Uh, then, sir, I have other household matters to attend to. Very well. So, Robert, what brings you to the Chateau at this most unfortunate hour? Lee, we've come to talk to you about the Priory of Sion. The Keepers? So, this is indeed about the Grail. What is it you want to know? Well, first, I'd like you to explain the true nature of the Grail to Miss Nauvoo. Robert, you've brought me a virgin? What? Virgin is the term Grail enthusiasts use to describe anyone who has never heard the true Grail story. I believe the lady here is in need of an education. How fortunate, then, that you've come to me. Only the worthy can find the Grail, Miss Nauvoo. The path to truth lies through the doors of my home. But they only unlock for the enlightened. He's a bit eccentric, but we're safe here. I know we can help us figure out the cryptex. Just play along for now. All right, Celty Bing. I will find the path. Oh. Learn about Mr. Remy, how Fucker. long have you worked for Tibing? My employment does not require me to answer personal questions. If you need some tea or cakes, I would be happy to fetch them for you. <laughs> oh. What accent is that? Uh, I guess that's locked. Oh. New. Oh, this guy has a mad, mad dungeon. Oh, it's just a wine cellar. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay, this is a creepy place. It's just the uh, special stuff. Secrets. Need to find some clues. Or maybe it's just on the picture that's prominently displayed and lit up that I should check. And it has nothing. Okay. Oh. Don't tell me this is just for a secret. Probably have to come back here. I should check the top first. He kind of did Mr. T-Bing or T-Bag. <laughs> Whatever his name was. Whoa. Got Matt stuck there. Oh, he was pointing upstairs. So I should check upstairs first. Before coming back down, I keep forgetting I can run. I can run. Welcome to the Arthurian Legend Room. If you would take notice, there are two wonderful paintings depicting the tales of Arthurian knights, and at the doors you will find the armors that they wore. The Arthurian knights had their own heraldry, which is displayed on the shields. You. Miss Naboo must discern which shield goes with each painting by placing the appropriate shield with its armor. If you examine a shield, I should be more than happy to tell you that knight's tale. My 
My dear Sophie, this is the shield of Mordred. Mordred was King Arthur's son who was born of Arthur's half-sister Morgana. When Arthur and Gawain were away from the kingdom, Mordred seized the throne and took his father's wife, Guinevere, as his own. In the final battle over the kingdom, Mordred fatally wounded Arthur, but was then defeated by Lancelot. One story states Lancelot executed Guinevere, believing she had taken part in the usurpation of the throne willingly, and entombed Mordred with her dead body, which he ate to stay alive until he eventually died of starvation. This is Percival's shield. Sir Percival was one of the first knights to see the Grail. During his journeys, he came across the castle of the Fisher King, and in the sky above it saw an image of the Grail. Inside, he found that the Fisher King was quite ill and bedridden. But while Percival knelt beside him, a great procession walked down the hall. At the end of the procession, a lady carried a chalice, but Percival failed to inquire about it, and the King was not healed as a result. Percival vowed to find the Grail again someday, and became one of the three knights to embark on the final quest for the Holy Grail. Mm. Mm. Hmm, I guess which one this that was. This is the shield of Lancelot. Sir Lancelot was raised by Vivian, the Lady of the Lake. He was the epitome of chivalry and was always courteous, courageous, and kind. He became the first knight of the round table, but soon fell in love with Queen Guinevere. He slept with Guinevere behind Arthur's back, and when he did so, a broken shield that Vivian had given him became whole again. Well done! Now, what of the other knight? He looks rather plain without his shield. I wonder if the frame... The, uh, those things look like some kind of letter. I don't know, are they just gibberish? Or are they actually some kind of language? And if I actually know that language, can I just know the answer <laughs> right away? This is Galahad's shield. Sir Galahad was the son of Lancelot and became a knight of the round table. He saw a vision of angels guiding him to the Holy Grail. Thus, he was selected as one of the three knights who would go on a quest for it. When they found the final location of the Grail, Galahad was one of the few allowed to see it. <coughs> that ah, this is the shield of King Arthur Pendragon. He became king when he pulled the sword Excalibur from a stone. Uther Pendragon, Arthur's father, was the previous owner of Excalibur. Before Uther died, he implanted the sword which he got from the Lady of the Lake into a stone and said that whoever could remove it would be king. Of course, only his own magical bloodline could do so, and thus Arthur ruled over Britannia for many years. Kind of sound like it, but not really. This is the shield of Sir Gawain. He was the most chivalrous of the knights and was bound by his honor to do what was right. He was the only knight brave enough to accept the challenge of the mighty Green Knight. Lancelot mistakenly slew Sir Gareth during a rescue of Guinevere, thus causing a bitter rivalry to form between Lancelot and Gawain, who was Gareth's brother. Right. Sounds like this one. That's not the right shield for that armor. Look at the painting and remember the stories behind each shield. What? There's a lady in the water. It's not that one. <laughs> oh, it doesn't have to be from here. All right. Yo, dude. What 
the shit. Oh, it takes like half a second after I push A for it to place. Ah. Oh. <laughs> then when it actually, f and then I think that my A didn't register, so I push A again, and it just takes it. All right, whatever. All right. I forgot all the stories from this side already. Dude, place the damn thing. Oh, okay. So this side has to be that side, right? I don't know. Let's try everyone. Excellent, Miss Navu. I trust the Arthurian legends are entertaining? Yes, I quite enjoyed your tales. Knights questing for the Holy Grail does make for an entertaining story. But I assure you that it is no mere cup. I know, sometimes it's a ball. <laughs> no, no, my dear. You see, as a Grail historian, I'm often asked, where is the Grail? It is rare that people ask me, what is the Grail? Because everyone assumes that it is just an object. It is much more than that. Now that you know the question, why don't we see what answers we can find here? Okay. Go. Okay. This is probably a passage from the Bible. No idea what to put in there. Get that UV light in there. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> What's that? Nope, just the texture has some funny color in it. Let's check this cipher first. Before trying to figure out what's oh, I'm supposed to place something there. Something is definitely missing from this pedestal. Oh gosh, am I supposed to remember all those stories about Arthur? Because <laughs> I just don't, I don't remember any of them in there anymore. <laughs> oh no, okay. Um, guess so. I mean, you know, we're being hunted by the French police. So I don't really have any... Time to... Solve all your freaking puzzles. Alright. Author, was it three lion? I think it was three lion, was it? Oh no, you have to make her run so s walk so slowly.
Hmm. I must be missing something. 